It's 6 p.m. on August 21st, 2017, and this is the regularly scheduled meeting of the New Fame Select Board. And with us tonight uh, is Mike Fitzpatrick, Marion Dowling, and I'm Gary Delius, Acting Chair. Uh, first order of business is, are there any additions or amendments to the agenda? I just no. have an amendment. There won't be a road for our, our commissioner's report. Okay, so we'll be skipping the road, road foreman's report. Okay. Um, and you're suggesting that the Williams Windham Solid Waste Management, we can read? On your own. Okay. Uh, and I'll attach it to the minutes. Okay. But I don't need to read it out loud. Too. Any other changes? No. Okay. Motion to accept those changes? I accept it. I make a motion. Okay. Very okay. made. And then Michael seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And it passes. Uh, next is the minutes of the August 7th meeting. I get a motion of approval. Okay. Motion by Mike to approve. I second. Mary in seconds. Okay. Is there any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed? It's 3-0-0. Zero, zero. That passes. Next is the administrative assistance report. Merle has accepted his three-year appointment as zoning administrator. I put a reminder in the calendar for August of 2020, so it won't be forgotten. <clears throat> and I sent out appointment forms to the new Williamsville Hall committee member, as well as the two new DRB members. Okay. Uh, I've recertified the underground storage tanks for gasoline and diesel at the town garage, and it's just something we have to do every year. Um, Todd and I have been gathering prices for different models of the speed signs that were budgeted for this year. There's a lot of different types and websites and retailers, um, so it's sort of a lot to sort through. But I would suspect that we would have it narrowed down um, for the board's consideration next meeting. Okay. There's 9 million companies and they all have 17 different types and it's... Why not pick the first three and send out and see what, the, yeah. what their numbers look like. I think that's yeah, and save yourself what some time. we'll do. It's okay. pretty, yeah. Um, with the upcoming changes to the laws regarding leave time, I'm continuing to review job descriptions and personnel policies for discrepancies. Those take effect in 2018, so I'll be recommending some minor changes in the future. Um, the security company came to look at an issue we were having with the parking lot camera, and the problem seems to have been fixed. It's not blacking out anymore. He also backed the zoom out so that we now have the entire parking lot in view instead of just where the recycle bins were. Yeah. So, that's better. Entertain a motion on the assistance, administrative assistance report. I have a motion to second. I second. Uh, Michael makes the motion, <clears throat> and Marion seconds. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed the same, so it's 3 0 0. Mm -hmm. Unscheduled members of the public? Pete. Okay. How are you? Good. My name's Pete, and uh, I'm Pete, a New Fame New Fame resident. It's Pete Novick. Pete Novick? Yeah, I live at uh, 39 Daniels Hill Road. Okay. That's we. That's almost in Dover, so it's Baja Newfanes, but it's but South Newfane, the village okay. of South Newfane, on the Dover Road. But right before you get to the creek, Adam Still Road goes up, yep. and uh, that's a public road. Heads back about three miles and stops at Butch Susasimo's uh, hunting cabin, and then Daniel's Hill Road kicks off of that about a mile up Adam Still Road, and there's uh, seven homes up there. Mm -hmm. So I I came tonight to begin a process that I'm learning fast about to petition the town to consider taking our private road <clears throat> and making it, and reclassifying it, I think that's the right word, reclassifying it as a public road. Um, I brought some information which I'd be happy to share with you and it's, it's a picture so it doesn't have any words but I could just orient you if you'd like to um, what it is we're, we're trying to do and maybe by using taking the picture looking at the picture 
you can get an idea. And if you have any questions, I realize this is the first step of what could be quite a lengthy process. Thank you. But if I could orient you to that, the only area we're talking about is the area around Daniels Hill Road. Okay. And you'll see the lots there. Mm -hmm. Um, seven homeowners. Now, let me interrupt you just for sure. a, a second. The two people who are absolutely essential right. in making this decision, Chris Wims, who's the road commissioner, exactly, and Todd, two. who is the road foreman, right. are not here today. Right, I understand that. So you're going to need to make this presentation again when they're here. Right. So we're happy to listen as a warm-up for you. Yeah. So if you want to continue, and, and perhaps you have some guidance and things that you can you can uh, fill me on in as well, if if it comes to that. So the only purpose of of uh, coming to the select board is to get the process going. And from what I understand on reading, and I'm and I'm not a lawyer, um, there are two ways to petition a town for this kind of issue. One is we run around and get five percent of the signatures of either homeowners or um, uh, residents of the town who are not necessarily homeowners, 5% uh, of them, and that's one way to get it onto the agenda. The other way is that by a motion of the board, the board agrees on its own accord to, to take on the issue. So uh, we, we'd like some reading from the board, and again, this might not happen tonight, on whether they want the Daniels Hill Association to go back and get 5% signatures or has it been customary in the past that you take this issue on as a as a, a motion that the board does? Now, is it a like a class three road or anything like that, or is it a private road all the time? So, um, Daniels Hill Road has a little bit of a history. Um, it was originally a road. I don't know if it's in the ancient roads uh, <clears throat> database, but it's been a road for a long time. And it was in a large piece of property that was owned by the Haynes brothers. Lincoln Haynes, Link Haynes is an old name around here, you might remember him and uh, part of that family. And in 1974, they took a chunk of that property and built, I believe, eight lots, seven or eight lots, 10 to 12 acres each, and zoned it um, and then sold those lots uh, subject to covenants and restrictions and a, and a a deeded requirement that the owners of those lots participate in um, maintenance of the road. So we've been doing that. We've been home, my wife and I have been homeowners up there 30 years now, but haven't lived there permanently since then. Um, and I moved up here permanently in 2011, and uh, we've been maintaining the road uh, ourselves. I, I can tell you this, and as this process gets going, I would imagine the, the Chris, and Todd and any of the other members of the select board would like to come up and, and take a walk through. We'll even have cookies and, and milk, or who knows. But uh, <laughs> um, we've, we've been maintaining the road with uh, one inch uh, shoulder material, sure pack, mm -hmm. um, for 30 years. Mm -hmm. so we've got 12 or 14 inches of that. We, know, we do all of our own maintenance, we crown the road. Um, the litmus test for our road is we dropped our daughter off for college her last year. Couldn't get back here, had to wait till Sunday. It was a bright, beautiful morning. We got as far as the Red Farmhouse on the Dover Road at South Dufane. That's when the road ended. The first section there, uh, 400 feet, was gone. So I hiked in. Um, Three other sections of the Dover Road were gone. We got to Daniel's Hill, got to Adams Hill Road, and the whole lower section was gone. 12 feet of road, 60 linear feet, just gone. So when I got up to Daniel's Hill Road, I thought, well, this is going to be a big deal. We had no damage. So we've got, we've been scientifically moving that drainage around uh, and uh, addressing the road every year to make sure it's in pretty good shape. It's a half a mile worth of a road. Um, I would stock it, I would, I would stack it up against any other private road in Wyndham County for, for its, um, the quality of the maintenance we do. So that's my pitch, uh, and I realize it's gotta be something that uh, the whole board needs to hear, so uh, what do you recommend? We, we table this until the, 
the, the, the two big players are here for that? Uh, I mean, was it ever like a town road or anything, like a class four, or a class trail even, or? Well, it was something, because on the old maps I've found, Daniels Hill Road goes all the way around. In fact, on Google, it goes all the way around and has two points it comes in to uh, Adams Hill Road, a, a lower point on Adams Hill Road, and then the point of the road that we have. So when Link Hayes, Haynes put, put the road together with those lots, he ran the road up halfway and put a turnaround there, which was the town requirement at the time for the plowing truck and whatnot. So, and that services all the lots in that area. And the road beyond that, which went back downhill and connected to Adams Hill Road at a lower part, that's shown by that dotted line there on the lower part of that, um, that was never maintained after, I'm saying probably about the early 70s. Um, by the time I started coming up here in the late 70s, um, um, you could walk it and you could still drive it today if, if you have an aggressive four-wheel drive vehicle. Um, uh, you can get past it and it comes down past a home owned by the Lemkes um, and their driveway is actually part of what used to be called Daniels Hill Road. Um, and that whole section, probably half of that road, probably close to 0.4 miles, is, is no longer used for anything. So to answer your question, I can't find, um, I know it was a logging road, but there's a lot of logging roads around here. And uh, how much of a road it was before that time, I, I don't know. There's some stone walls around there, but you never can tell you know, how much of that was. was um, okay, about seven homes up in there? Yeah, we have seven. And they all live there? Or? We have five residents and two non-residents. So uh, um, we're, as I say, we all we wanted to do tonight was right. was energize the process <laughs> and but get. I think that it would just be the first thing would be the select board to say, Pete, you need to go back and get the five percent signatures, or or a motion that you guys would take it on at least begin that first begin that first step. Can hmm. I ask you where you where you have the thought about the five percent? Oh, it comes right out of the book, the big book. Um, in fact, I got this here some time ago. It's the general outline of highway law and procedures for laying out, altering, reclassifying, and discontinuing highways. I it mean, comes from the statute, okay, uh, so Title 19. I, I was thinking that if that's something that you need eventually and you want to get things started, it might be a good idea to get the signatures. They have to get 5% of the total population. Well, which is the registered voters. Yeah, yeah registered voters. Well, that's that's many. Yeah, well, I know. Well, voters or landowners. You don't have to be a resident. We're just talking about the I think that's people. very old, and I would caution you to double check the statutes to see if they've been updated. I just read that. Yeah. About <clears throat> just seven people? No, no. No, the whole 5% of the voters, so if there's 1,200 voters or whatever it is. Oh, 5% yeah. of, of the that, entire. So. Yeah, I just read the statute this afternoon. It's not 5% of voters. It's 5% of voters and or landowners who don't have to be residents. So that means it would also be then on the warrant for a town meeting. I don't think so. I, the, I don't, the, I don't know that. But time, that's the first time that it, it could actually, that's the next election that's scheduled. I don't see what the town meeting has no, to do with it. bring that in front of us to act on. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking a look at the whole thing and see what it looks like. Yeah, I, mean, I think like it's that. a good idea, yeah. I mean, you know, we'd have to tie it in. Like, I know one of the things is you have to meet certain criteria for gravel, culverts, all that. Yeah. So I know, the town standards first. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to, you'd have to write it up and look at it. I mean, yeah, I mean a lot of them laws, what it actually says on some of them roads is a lot of them, some places even tell you you got to pave it, but most of them say as good as the road leading to it. Yeah, we're better than Adams Hill Road. And Adams Hill Road... Todd and his crew do, a, do the Lord's work up there, I'll tell you, because that's a tough, tough road with the slope, especially in that lower third, that slope of that hill coming off of there. Three of those brooks are live brooks, and we've had no rain for six days, and they're still percolating. And those three brooks were the ones that caused all that damage originally. And since they got the FEMA money, they were able to build these, uh, these battleship-type uh, coffer dams and culverts that, that carry that water away. So we just had that deluge, what, two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. And uh, I hike down there periodically and, and look to see how it's going. 
and there was there was thousands of gallons a minute moving through there, but it was it was clearing right under the road and and dumping right into the brook perfectly. So, had had that not been there, we'd still be in the same soup that we were in before I read. Um, so once again, it's it looks like the first step is we either run around and get five percent of signatures, which I don't think would be a problem, um, or the board, per the language, is permitted to. Uh, if the selectmen decide on their own motion to undertake such a proceeding, there should just be a statement uh, to that decision uh, put in the minutes. That's what the guidance says. Yeah. Well, my guidance would be that, that this should be discussed. It doesn't need to be tabled because it's not actually an item on our agenda. Uh -huh. um, but it should be discussed when we do have those two principal people here. Right. We have the full quorum here rather than just mm -hmm. the three of us. Um, and hopefully that will be at our next meeting. Yeah. Could I make it, could, could it be an agenda item? Or oh, yes. Just, you could ask me uh, Shannon to put it on the agenda. Oh, nice. And um, that would be, then we'll be able to discuss it and discuss those options and see which ones make the most sense. Mm -hmm. Have you had this happen before? The other people wanting to take roads and turn them into town roads? Quite a Not in this town, but other places. That. I mean, yeah, this has happened over the years, different places. I mean, Sosmo did a lot of places like that years mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. yeah. There stuff. are quite a number of roads in Newfane that have been taken over that were private roads and are now public roads. If you go back 20 years, there's, I, I, I know several. So there's, there's precedent for it. Okay. Uh, uh, whether it's a long route or, sh or the short route, the two people who really need to be here sure. aren't, and uh, yeah, I think great. we should start there. I'm happy with that. So what we would do is, uh, uh, I can work with you if you you can call it whatever you want, Daniel Sill yeah, Association. Yeah, it'll be on there. So then, September 18th. All right, and I'll look online because that's when I can see what the agenda looks like, and yeah. that would be that'd be great. So it'll but, be up the week before that. Nice. Yeah. Good. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Yeah, it's nice to see you all. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to make things better. Yeah, oh yeah, well, ooh, I'm not good at that. I should have done just the, done it done electronically. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, new business, report on WS, WMD. Uh, recommend we all read that separately. Mm -hmm. um, the Employee Appreciation Day. Uh, we, we need Carol here to really see where she is on this. When I spoke to her before she left, uh, she had everything already in order. All the food is uh, agreed to, and all the work is pretty much done. So I think that probably we would need to have her here to let us know exactly what is still open. But she was a little concerned that it might not be a go, thinking that there's still just too much to do, and she assured me that it's already been done. And she talked to John Julian, and he's willing to do the work, and uh, mm -hmm. so my feeling is we need her here for that discussion. And when is this thing? September 15th. Yeah. There's no meeting before then. Yeah. There is so, no meeting before then. When is our next meeting, by the way? The 18th. And I won't be here for that one. September 18th. The 18th. You will? No, I won't. won't. No. Well, we're going to have to call a meeting, I think. Don't you think? Well, this was a, this was a discussion about uh, Labor Day. Mm -hmm. Having a meeting right after Labor Day. After Labor Day. Yeah, on the walk. I think right. we looked at what, the fifth? Well, the, the board voted to just skip it, so yeah. now you have to. Re skip it. Unskip it. Or just go with it. Okay, so we need to find out from Carol when she's going to be back and, and when she would be willing or when she could discuss it with us and call a meeting and get it resolved. It's the only outstanding item that we have. Any motion here? Well, what's the fifth meeting then on the fifth? The fourth is what, Labor Day? Is that what you yeah. said? Yeah. And we were talking to having a meeting on the fifth? Well, we did, we no, talked to we skip it all together. You're right. We, well, we discussed good. having a meeting sometime during that period before this event. Well, so well, we well, could I'm just, I'm just kind of thinking now, would it pay to reschedule that meeting? Could be you're going to be in the hospital. Uh, on the 18th, I'll be getting ready for the hospital. So um, they have to be jumping through a bunch of hoops. 
watching with strange stuff. And no, I'm just wondering, oh, do you want to have one more meeting? Will you go in like that so we can go through some? Yeah, that'd be fine. I think so. I think it would be fine. Because then we're yep. going to bring in Ed, too, aren't we? No, he's coming in on the 18th. What, what about Monday, September 11th? I can't do it. Oh, you can't do it. How well, about Tuesday the 12th? I can nev I'm never available on Tuesdays. I'm sorry, what? I'm never available <clears throat> on Tuesday nights. I oh. have a standing meeting. I'll, I'll see what they're telling me um, that I have to do on the day before. Me. If, I, if they're not making me do anything obnoxious. I guess one of the things I'm thinking, we ain't had a full board in how many long now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nothing. You know, yeah. It was like last week and I didn't miss it because it was working. Yeah. We didn't have enough to have a quorum. Yeah. And um, then after the 19th, you're going to miss it for how many weeks? Yeah, for at least a couple of weeks. So, I mean, you're about, you know, so you're looking at a month. Yeah. So, we do need to do something in the interim. I'll bust my butt to be here on the 18th. I'll find out from the surgeons if there's anything that I have to be aware of that I can't do the night before surgery. Like, How about um, Wednesday, September 6th? Well, again, we're, we're kind of tied to Carol's schedule. We need she to know when she's Wednesdays, available. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, I think. So if you can find out from Carol what her schedule is and let us know, then we can schedule around that. Okay. That'd be my suggestion. I mean, if we could do it sometime that week. Uh, I mean, if you don't have a lot on the agenda, you don't really need me here. And that would be about it's the It's never thing. the same without you. I know. <laughs> you keep us out of trouble, <laughs> as usual. Uh, okay. Um, so we're going to... Shannon's going to let us know when she gets a date from Carol. And then we can all sort of cluster around that and see when the best time is to be. Uh, anything further on that, on the um, employee appreciation thing? No. Okay. And then we're off to the correspondence. Again, some of the correspondence I think is germane to when we've got all the, all the folks here, um, especially the road people, um, especially the, the note from Tom. Put them in the minutes so that at least people see that we looked at them. Yes. Well, just suggesting we move the Tom Dolan email to um, uh, the next meeting when we have the road commissioner and um, mm -hmm. road uh, foreman here. Next one then would be from Newbrook Fire Department. This is to advise you that uh, Newbrook has taken over the fire coverage from the Williamsville South Newfane Department. Williamsville South Newfane is no longer in operation and no longer responds to calls. Therefore, Newbrook now covers all fire and EMS for the towns of Newfane, Williamsville, and South Newfane. That's from Castle Freeman, Secretary for the Newbrook Fire Department. Okay. Um, Vermont League of Nations newsletter. I'll pass it around. It'll be a test. They got a piece of paper. And so what happens to the money we had scheduled for the land so. um, We called the town attorney and the FY17, they're still entitled to because they were in business through June 30th. This fiscal year's, um, he said it's really, it's up to the board, but they haven't requested it yet. If they're not in business no more. Right. right. Then his his opinion was they're not really entitled to it if if they are not operations, but it's it's the board that has to make that decision. Um, but since they haven't requested it, it hasn't come up. The VLCT uh, municipal budgeting workshop coming up. I can never find the dates on these. You have to register by September 19th. It's, uh, October or something. Well, yes, you would you I signed up to go. So is that something though we should have you guys come in for a meeting with us? I mean, Newbrook and Williamsville? 
because there isn't anything in Williamsville. So yeah, no, but what I'm saying is we put in extra money for them on the yeah. budget, plus we paid that municipal, their radio stuff, their dispatch. The mutual aid is still going to be paid because it'll be on behalf of New September 26th. Right. September 26th. Um, but we paid New Brooks and that. Right. But New Brook will now be responsible for their share, and we pay it directly to mutual aid, so it won't, it won't matter. So that part shouldn't really change because the territory covered is still the same. Right. So they'll still be responsible yeah. for the same amount. But the, the appropriation, they're, they're not really, I mean, it's up to the board. If the board wanted to send it to them for closing costs, they could. But it was the attorney's opinion that they weren't really entitled to it. I think we would go with that unless they made an appeal to us and said they needed it for that purpose. Right. Yeah. And they yeah. have not requested it okay. to this point. Right. And we are at pay orders, our favorite time of day. Do you have time to say for pay orders or? Well, I spoke to Shannon about it before and I asked if I could be excused and she said if I, and that's why I could come in tomorrow morning and sign. Okay. Is that okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay,